I'm here at the Royal Botanical Gardens in Kew, in the leafy suburbs of London, and I'm here to show you something that's a little bit special. I'm on my way to Kew's Redwood Forest. But first, let me tell you a little bit of context. The term redwood actually refers to two different, but very closely related species of tree. The first, the Sequoia sempervirum, otherwise known as the coast redwood, or the California redwood, grows along California's coastline. It's the tallest tree on the planet. The tallest one in existence that we know of is called Hyperion, and it measures 115.85 meters. The second is the Sequoia dendron giganteum, or the giant redwood, or giant sequoia as it's often called in America. Instead of growing in the coast, it grows in the Sierra Nevada mountains. It's slightly less tall than its coastal counterpart, but it makes up for this by being larger. It has more volume. In fact, it's the most voluminous tree on the planet. The biggest one we know of is called the General Sherman, and it's 11 meters in diameter. So two closely related species of tree known for being giants and native to California. So what am I doing here in London, in the middle of the UK? In the 1850s and 60s, the British became obsessed and fascinated with these stories they were hearing about these giant trees out west. In 1856, a rather unethical display at London's Crystal Palace featured a giant sequoia tree's reassembled bark after it had been stripped, cut into pieces and brought back across the Atlantic Ocean for the sake of public curiosity. In the 1850s and 60s, British businessmen saw a great opportunity in going out to California and bringing back seeds and saplings of these giant trees that had fascinated the British public. These trees around me here at Kew Gardens were some of the first to be planted in the UK. The tallest one here measures around 40 metres. But there are now thousands planted all across the UK. The website redwoodworld.co.uk maintains a database detailing many of them. If you live in the UK, you can use this website to find ones near to you. Last summer I paid a visit to two giant redwoods on the Tall Trees Trail in the New Forest, which are thought to be two of the largest in the UK. They were planted around 1860, and now the largest of the two, seen here on the left, measures around 53 meters in height, with a trunk circumference of around nine meters. For a while now, I've been growing redwoods of my own, both coastal and giant. In 2015, I donated one of the coastal redwoods I had grown to the University of Nottingham after it had outgrown its container in my garden. Of all the giant sequoias I've grown here in the UK, this is the one that I'm most excited about. And the reason for that is that this is a second generation giant sequoia grown here in the UK. And these are really rare because giant sequoias have notoriously a really low germination rate. That means a really, really small percentage of their seeds are actually viable. In the UK, the giant sequoias we have here are all quite young, all under 200 years old, which in giant sequoia terms is still being a baby. The exact figure isn't clear, but it's likely that seeds from giant sequoia grown in the UK have a germination rate of 1% or less. I've personally attempted to propagate around 500 seeds that I've collected in the UK, and I've only had a couple of successes. I collected the seed that this sapling came from in Knollswood, just outside of Leighton Buzzard. I went there as I'd been sent a copy of a report written in 1872 claiming that the giant sequoia there had been planted around eight years earlier, in 1864, making them some of the oldest planted in the UK. I collected and planted around 300 seeds from there, and after a couple of weeks, a baby sequoia appeared. These redwood trees growing around me here at Kew Gardens and across the UK are all just babies. They're going to be 170 years old at most you'd be forgiven for not even noticing them. They have a long way to grow, but over the next couple of hundred years, the situation's gonna change and they're gonna start standing out all across the UK. They're gonna be noticeably taller in every single park that they're in than all the trees around them. These are the future giants of the UK.